And now it's time for the children's message. So if you have children uh, or youth nearby who aren't already watching this video, uh, now's a great time to call them over. Hey guys, I'm Pastor David, one of your associate pastors, and I get to share the children's message with you today. And I'm really excited about our topic today because today we're continuing to think about the fruits of the Spirit and specifically we're thinking about the last fruit on the list, which is self-control. Now, I want you to help me with an experiment um, that has to do with seeing how much self-control that we have. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set a timer on my cell phone. Uh, I'm setting it for 30 seconds. And for the next 30 seconds, whatever you do, do not think about the color red, okay? Don't think about the color. Uh, some of you are already doing it. Well, it's okay. I haven't started the timer yet. Don't think about the color red. All right, here goes the timer. All right, 29, 28. So don't think about roses or stop signs. Um, don't think about apples. Try not to think about hearts or strawberries. Don't think about cherries or fire trucks. And above all, don't think about blood. Okay, only five seconds left. Whatever you do, don't think about... Oh, there goes the timer. There. Well, how did you do in the experiment? Uh, how many thought about red? Oh, yep, yep, I see. That's almost all of you. I think it is all of you. Well, that was really hard not to do, especially when I was talking about things that have the color red and even uh, flip my, my stole. Why do you think it was so hard to follow my instructions and not think about the color red? Well... Obviously, it was because we need a little more self-control. But it's really hard sometimes. Have you ever been so hungry, but a parent told you, no snacks before dinner time? And boy, that was awfully tempting. Or maybe they said, all right, you can have one cookie. And how many did you take? Two, three, a handful? Yeah. Um, or what about when a teacher says, no talking in class, but you're sitting right beside your best friend and you can't help but have a little conversation. Yeah, we need more self-control. How about you need to do homework, but you really want to watch that TV show or you, you really want to get to the next level of that video game. Self-control. We need more self-control, and we need it every day. Now, the Bible tells us that self-control is a fruit of the Spirit. And that just means that God can help us to have self-control. So, we just need to pray to God for God to help us to have more self-control. Let's pray. Lord God, we just pray that you will help us to have more self-control uh, because we know it will help keep us uh, from getting into trouble sometimes and messing things up. Help us, Lord, each and every day to have self-control and all the fruits of the Spirit. We give you thanks for the children and youth of our church and community and their families, and we just pray your blessing on them. In Jesus' name, amen.